What is going on, Draw It To crew? Welcome to Draw It To. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How To Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your artistic skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, comics, or books. So if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell icon so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens for inking afterwards. We all draw at different speeds, so as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. And if you find that this video is still going way too fast, remember that you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video to slow it down. Also keep in mind, one more thing, results will vary. So if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely, completely acceptable as well. So having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, so for this it slash Pennywise tutorial, I've got my paper in uh, portrait mode, but you can just as easily have it in landscape mode, you guys. I'm gonna have it this way because the way that we're doing this, we're going to kind of draw it the way, draw it the way that he appears in the posters where he's got like, um, he appears on the top right and then you see the IT over here. I'm not gonna draw the IT like the posters. I'm just gonna draw it, so I'm gonna draw him right over here. Let's get started. And this one is should be relatively easy, probably even easier than my 2017 IT tutorial. Now I'm going to start by drawing a circle right here. Okay, so it's about equal distance from here to here. Not terribly, not terribly big, but that's going to be, well, usually we have it as the face, but what we're going to do is we're going to make that the forehead. Um, the head for it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines going down here and here. Now this is going to be the the face itself and then we're going to close it off so it kind of looks like this weird looking mushroom slash I don't know the end of a microphone I guess. So what you want is a circle up at the top and then this U shape at the bottom like this. So you want to get this shape right as best as you can. Okay, so from there, I'm going to sort of just outline where the hair is going to go. It's going to go out this way and it's going to go off to the side here. From here, going out this way. So here's the cheeks and here's where the jaw is and where the jaw starts. That's where I have the poofy hair coming out. So it goes out this way, about the same width as the head itself. So this is the size of the head. You want that to be about the same here. So now imagine the same thing going on this side, about that big and there you go. So as you guys can tell, I'm kind of holding my pencil really loosely and it is going to be very, uh, well, it's off center. He's more on this side because what I want to do is what I'm going to now at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to draw a diagonal line just underneath. I'm going to start right here underneath his chin and it's going to go this way all the way down and all the way up to the corner of my page. There you go. Just like the poster. And this doesn't have to be a straight line. I'm actually going to make a zigzag. So you know what? Let me thin that out. Don't draw your lines too lightly. So now it's just a guideline. I'm going to zigzag my paper up and down all the way to this side. Okay. So it's like him tearing, tearing the paper and showing up uh, behind the poster, right? So that's what that will look like. Here's the neck. The neck's gonna go down right here and just goes around, sort of follows this line. And right here, this goes this way. So the neck is diagonal. Okay, right here's got, I'm gonna draw this. That's a frilly part of the costume. And then I'm going to draw another kind of a loop, I guess you could say. Right here just goes around all the way from here, curves to there. Okay, and then you've got the shoulder coming down on this side. And this one I'm going to do like a waves. And you'll find later on I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, that'll be waves. And then here is another layer. That's just flat. I'm going to double up on that line like this. 
And then right here, two stripes going down like that. Okay, and there you go. So we've got this. Now we're going to draw his like hands, his alien looking fingers kind of coming out on this side and over here as well. So much like the poster, what we're going to do is we're going to start over here. What I'm going to make first are three knuckles, the third knuckle being up here at the edge of the hair. So that's where the first knuckle is going to be. And I draw three knuckles like that, okay? From those three knuckles, I'm going to draw these cylinders. One this way. One this way. Well, they're more rectangles for now. And the other one, this way. I want to try to make them about the same size. Maybe this one a little bit smaller because it is the pinky. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw a circle here, here, and here. Because I want those knuckles to be, like, thicker than the rest of the fingers. And then this goes this way. This goes straight down. And this goes straight down as well. So like that. Now this is a tinier knuckle. There, there, and there. And now a U, the tip of the finger. This one goes in like this, and then this goes, kind of goes like this as well. There you go. And at the tips of the fingers, I'm going to make these sharp fingernails. They look like upside down teardrops. Like that. So start here, make that curve, and then come to a point down here. Same thing over here, and this one sort of goes in behind the middle finger there. There you go. Right in between these fingers, I'm going to create this paper rip. So the paper kind of just rips a little bit more like that. So the rip of the paper goes along here and then kind of zigzags down, makes its way down that way. Okay, so. That's what it is. And there's a little bit of shadow. If you guys want to add some shadow, here's a shadow over here for this finger. And then from here, going all the way down like this for this finger. Actually, I actually don't know what I'm going to do with this shadow when I start inking. And then the other shadow, this is all in shadow. The other shadow is going to be right here. It goes like that. So if you guys leave it, um, leave your drawings in pencil, um, you'll want to shade that in. I don't usually shade my drawings, but this time around, it's fairly easy to do, so I'm going to do it. Okay, one there. Now let's do the other hand. We're going to start right here, where this wavy, wavy zigzaggy line is where we drew. I'm going to start there. I'm going to draw a line going up, and then I'm going to draw three knuckles, kind of going along the same angle as the paper. Okay, now we'll do the same thing. Draw these rectangles. One goes this way with a circle at the end. One goes this way, circle at the end. The other one goes this way, circle at the end here. Okay, actually, you know what? Let me bring this closer, closer this way. You want these guys to sort of be parallel to each other. There you go. Now from here, there, another circle. Here, this goes straight across, circle. And here, it's a little bit tinier, goes like that. Now back over here, here's the tip of the finger, tip of this finger, tip of the third finger, and then the teardrop-shaped fingernails. One there, one here, and one over here. So what I like about this um, design is that it kind of gives you a hint of what Pennywise actually really is. Like he, when you see this poster design, you see a clown, but then you see the you see his hands, and you kind of wonder what what are these? You know what I mean? So it's definitely enticing to new viewers that way. Oh, and let's not forget the shadows. This one kind of just comes to a point right here. 
So this is a shadow right there. The shadow is right underneath this finger and right underneath this finger. Along some parts of the paper, I'm going to kind of create this crease, like paper has been folded, folded over. But I'm not going to continue all of that all the way through. Just in some parts of the paper, I'm going to kind of create this two lines like that. Not everywhere. There you go. That's it. Well, that's not it. That's kind of the, those are the construction lines for Pennywise. I'm going to erase these fingers. I'm going to erase those circles just so we can get a, we can get around to them uh, a lot better a little later. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. Let's start working on Pennywise's face. I'm going to erase that bottom of that initial circle that we drew so you can get a sense of the size of his noggin. But what you want to keep, um, his eyes are going to be kind of above that line, actually right around here. So I'm going to keep that right around where the where the forehead starts to, like where the, where the U kind of starts to expand bigger into the forehead. That's where I want the eye line to go. Somewhere around there. There you go. I'm going to draw a line going straight down as well, just to guide where I want things to go. And then let's get started by drawing the eyes first. Now with the eyes, you want to make sure that you got, actually with this one, we're going to exaggerate his eyes. They're going to be a little bit bigger than normal proportions. But what you want to do is you want to divide this into five. Okay, five lines. So here's one, two, that's the width of the eye, three. Now this right here should be the same as this, then four, and then five. So that's what I mean by dividing it into five different sections. One here, 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 and here. There you go. Now that's the width of the eye. You wanna make sure they're the same, same size. And there, you can darken these because he's wearing some sort of eyeliner, like clowns do. You wanna get it right first, I guess. Okay, the bottom is gonna be like this. So it's a proper eye that looks like a football. Okay, inside I'm just going to make it circular. So I draw these lines inside the eye. It kind of gives it a more circular look. And then you want to draw the pupils so that they, they don't touch the top or the bottom. Okay, like that. And then circle in the middle. Okay, so draw the pupil like this. And then draw a circle in the middle and make sure that none of it touches the top or bottom of the eye. That's what makes it that, that's what gives him that freaky looking staring at you look. So as you guys can see, it already kind of looks pretty scary. Okay, now find two spots here and make those eyes look sunken in. Got some wrinkles under the eye and then just make it look sunken in like that. I'm going to erase I'm going to erase that top line. These guidelines are here. Draw a curve, a nice curve, kind of straight at first and then spikes up like this. Like that. And then you do the same thing on the other side. You want to make sure that they're, you do the same curve on the other side. So for me, sometimes I have to flip, flip this over. I get a better sense of how it looks when it's like this. And then you flip it, it looks just right. Okay. And then now let's erase the eye lines. More. There you go. Of course, let's draw the triangles at the top here. It's got that makeup. And then two lines coming down from here. Those lines kind of, they're wide and then they get narrower to a point. Like that. 
We don't see any ears. Now we're going to draw a circle right here. At the bottom of that circle, I'm going to kind of draw the nose. I'm going to start with this shape first. Kind of look, looks like a, like a W or an M, upside down M. Kind of goes, and then it goes out, and then it goes up. There you go. You can shade that in. You can add a little bit of a shine right there. And shade, shade it in if you want to. Just shade in like this part of it. There. Okay. Now Tim Curry, the actor who plays, who played Pennywise, has a pretty wide, like, wide gap from the top, from the bottom of the nose to the top of the mouth. I'm going to draw the top of the mouth as a straight line. It's got kind of fairly thin lips, like that. Okay, you notice I kind of erased a little bit of a little bit of the the sides here. I'll fix that up in a little bit. Okay, let's go back over here. It's got the side wrinkles there and there. And then the lips go down like this, down like this. There you go. Now the top lip, I'm just going to keep one solid line that goes there from here to here. I'm going to curve it down here and here. But the bottom lip, I'm going to, I'm going to create two lines there. Okay. Now I'm just going to, I didn't leave enough room for the chin, so I'm just going to lower down my my jaw a little bit. So the chin is going to go this way. This one's fairly curvy, just like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little bit more cheek, a little more chubby in the cheeks. Okay, so starting here, kind of where this line would go and meet over here, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. A little bit more thick over here, just like that. And I'm going to make the head a little bit wider too. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. Right around here, kind of where this line would meet. Right here, you want to make that a little bit, give him a little bit of cheek. Widen his head a little bit. There you go. Now let's draw the teeth. Top teeth start here, goes across, goes up. Okay, I'm gonna draw the gap here. And then I'm not going to fully draw the teeth. I guess I could. He is after all scary clown. So front two teeth first, and then let's work from the center and go all the way to the ends. There's one. Of course, at this point, you can, if you want to, you can draw the sharp teeth that he's got as well. So if you want to, you can draw sharp teeth. Okay, now the bottom teeth, I'm gonna start right here and here. I'm gonna draw two spikes going up. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create this kind of a moon shape inside the mouth. Okay, right here, I'm gonna darken, darken, center line. These teeth should be smaller than the top teeth, and then work your way from the center going out. There you go. You can darken the center or the inside as well. There you go. We've got Pennywise now. We can add some more wrinkles here and here. Some wrinkles coming out this way as well. There. There's Pennywise's face. You can add some wrinkles up at the top as well. Just make him look as ghastly and horrid as possible. There you go. He's got some wrinkles here, not too much. He is known for having a pretty rounded head. There. There you go. That's a pretty scary clown, if I do say so myself. 
or just not something I'd want to keep staring at all day. <laughs> okay, so now let's go with the hair. Here at the top, you don't see the part of the hair here at the top. You just see little, little bits of it. But what you want to do is you want to create like this zigzags of hair that kind of start from here. You don't want to go, you don't want to do that all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it as it comes out of his head and I'm drawing I'm drawing them very zigzagged like this in different lengths some long some short okay and then I'm also drawing the spikes not spikes but they're I'm gonna I'm just drawing how it would flow at the edge and this is how I'm kind of drawing it random spikes that kind of have this flow like it's going this way. Okay, and here at the bottom, it's more spiky than it is at the top. Here at the top, it kind of flows this way. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to get at. So here at the bottom, it's a lot more spiky than it is at the top, where at the top, it kind of just flows outward. Okay, from, from the sides, now I'm going to draw some hair going in. It all sort of has this curve going like that to it. And then I just draw a couple of zigzags from here going out this way. Excuse me, I just burped. There you go. And over here. So you can really control the flow of the hair just based on how you draw these lines. There you go. And I'm just going to leave it like that. I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll have a couple strands of hair coming out like this as well. That's the tough thing about drawing Pennywise is uh, when you draw the edges of the hair, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to draw the hair, you know? It's just fuzzy. Okay, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to start with these random, really random spikes just coming out. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If you think of anime characters, they kind of have this similar style, style hair where it's just waves that look like that. Okay, and then now, start from here. I'm gonna move my, it's easier on my wrist if I tilt my paper. So try that, you guys, it might be easier on you. Very random, I'm just, being very random here, but as you get lower, lower down the head, you want the lines to kind of start pointing down, like gravity is pulling on it. Okay, and then here, zigzags, just going like that. There you go. I think that's good. So now we've got, you've got Pennywise's hair, his face, kind of got his hands. Let's work on the costume now. First, let's isolate the neck. So here's the neck. It's got some wrinkles around the neck, just thin, thin wrinkles like that. And then this first layer, I'm going to create, much like my first Pennywise tutorial, I'm gonna create these S's. It looks like it just snakes its way from here all the way to the bottom of the hair. Okay, once you have that, so let's make this wavy, and I'm going to create lines from here going into the neck like this. Okay, same thing here. Now I'm just creating the bottom, the inside of these. So, so what you're left with is you get this frilly looking um, thing around his head, around his neck here. So that's the effect we're going for. And we're gonna do that again over here. This time around, I'm going to make this even more, less up and down and more random, like this. Okay, and then we bring this, we bring lines from here, going into the neck, like that, here and here. So that's what you're going for. And then the same thing at the bottom here. There you go, more frills. 
Now here we made initial zigzags. We take those zigzags and we just bring them in as well. But these are, these have a pattern to them. So aside from those wrinkles, it's also got these lines and I'm going to draw it like this. Here's one shaded thick line. Here's another shaded thick line right here. I'm going to draw a thick line right here. And I'll turn this into a thick line as well. And then one more thick line maybe behind the knuckles. Because that one is, it's like bluish, purple, green. Yeah, that's what this material is. And then right here is just fabric. And then let's turn these two lines into the same thick lines as over here. There you go. Okay. Over here, just going to draw the same thing as this, the frills. You'll see it on this side as well, although you don't see much of it. There. Here, here's what it looks like zoomed out. Now all we got to do, I'm going to grab another sheet of uh, another pencil and let's add some wrinkles to those fingers. Now you want to make these fingers look old and alien like. So first I'm going to draw the outline, making sure that those knuckles are kind of bigger than the rest of the finger. So there, and you don't want it too straight. You don't want it smooth. So rough it up a little bit. There you go. So that's what the hand looks like. The finger fingernails, I'm going to darken half of a fingernail and then leave a white line and then go to the other side and darken the other side. So you're left with this shine. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. Darken half of it. Okay, leave a shine and go to the other side and darken the other side. So you're left with that. Same thing over here. There you go. Okay, now what you're going to do in order to make this look old is just to create a whole bunch of wrinkles. If you look at my fingernail, we're going to draw these lines that, sorry, not fingernail, uh, my finger, we're going to draw these lines cutting across, but we're going to make it pretty prominent um, with, um, with Pennywise here. It's almost like drawing an earthworm or a carrot. So you'll have some lines on this side that come out like this. And then some lines on the other side that come out like this. And then some lines, especially where the knuckles are, lines in the middle that look like that. And if you make it, if you do it right, it'll look like, well, to me, it looks like a carrot. Okay. Around the knuckle, what you want to do is you want to create like this curve at the bottom and then a curve at the top. So it makes that bump. Okay. And then around here, okay, well, in between, it kind of goes up like that. And then from the side, different, different sizes of lines going that way, it's making a curve. So by making it curvy, you're sort of creating this three dimensional curviness of the fingers, right? So you don't want to draw it straight across. You want to curve it. And I'm going to keep working on that, making those knuckles prominent. There you go. And then same thing over here. I'm going to work with the knuckles first. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then of course, the other side. Again, outline them, make those knuckles bigger than the rest of the finger. There you go. Now we do the same thing with the fingernails, shade half of it, and then just a little bit of the other half so that you're left with this shine. There you go. And then lastly, just the knuckle wrinkles or the finger wrinkles as we did on the other side. 
Hey, remember over here, it kind of goes up. This goes up. Sometimes less is more. So don't keep doing knuckles or don't keep doing wrinkles all the way. If you feel like it's enough, that's probably enough. Don't forget to make those curves. And that's it, you guys. There you have it. We are finished with it from the 1990 TV series. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, let me know what your favorite uh, Halloween character is in the comments as well. Thank you, you guys, for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So there's three different ways that you can send your drawings my way. Number one, you can post it in the Google Plus community for me to see and for everybody else in the community to see. You can also post it on Instagram and tag me, or you can email it to me at drawto at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing all of your artwork. Now, if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a kit.com link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and find out what I use to run this YouTube channel. Now, what you see right here is me inking this artwork. If you want to see a longer version of this inking process, make sure to head on over to patreon.com slash draw it to to become one of my patrons. This is one of the perks that you get. And uh, if you guys do want to support this channel even more, yeah, make sure to head on over to patreon.com. There's different rewards that you will receive if you do decide to um, support me through Patreon. If you're curious about other ways to support this channel and to keep it sustainable, I have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And you can also buy some of my art prints in my art store, my online art store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Be sure to check out my art store often because I regularly post brand new stuff that is available for you guys to purchase. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are found in this channel. Finally, before I go, I want to say thank you to these lovely people who have decided to become my patrons. And yes, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.